How would you feel about flying in a plane built 50 years ago? As we journey into the heart of aviation history, we marvel at the significance of age in this field. From humble beginnings, aviation has soared to incredible heights, with technological advancements that have truly transformed our world. Yet, amid these leaps and bounds, some classic aircraft models have shown remarkable longevity, continuing to grace our skies to this day. So let's take off and journey back in time to meet the oldest birds of the sky. First stop, the 1930s with the Douglas DC-3. This aircraft, with its sleek twin-engine design, was the darling of the aviation world when it first took to the skies in the mid-1930s. It was a game-changer, setting new standards in speed, comfort, and reliability. The DC-3 was quite the revolutionary, heralding a new era in commercial aviation. Its design was so advanced for its time that it made transcontinental and even transatlantic travel possible. The DC-3 had a significant impact on the industry, ushering in the age of air travel for the masses. But the DC-3 was not just a commercial success, it also played a crucial role during the Second World War as a military transport aircraft known as the C-47 Skytrain. Its versatility, durability, and performance in extreme conditions made it an invaluable asset in the war effort. Now you might think that such an old bird would be long retired, tucked away in a museum somewhere, but that's where you'd be wrong. The DC-3 is a testament to the longevity of good design. Even today, over 90 years after its first flight, the DC-3 is still in active service in various parts of the world. From remote Alaskan villages to the vast expanses of the Australian outback, the DC-3 continues to serve as a lifeline, delivering goods and passengers to areas that modern planes simply cannot reach. Its ruggedness and ability to take off and land on short, rough runways make it perfectly suited to these challenging environments. The DC-3 is more than just a plane, it's a symbol of a bygone era when flying was still a grand adventure. It embodies the spirit of the golden age of aviation, a time of innovation and discovery. And despite the passage of time, the DC-3 continues to inspire with its enduring presence in the sky. The DC-3, a true testament to the craftsmanship of the golden age of aviation. Fast forward to the 1950s and we encounter the Boeing 707. A marvel of aviation engineering, the 707 was Boeing's first jetliner and a defining symbol of the jet age. It was a time of significant change for air travel, with jet engines replacing propellers and ushering in a new era of speed, comfort, and efficiency. The Boeing 707 was the brainchild of an era that believed in a future where distances would shrink and our world would become smaller. Its maiden flight took place in December of 1957, and it was introduced to the public by Pan American World Airways a year later. This plane was the one that changed everything. It was faster, more efficient, and it could carry more passengers than any of its contemporaries. In the heart of the Cold War, the 707 was also a symbol of American technological prowess. It was a statement to the world that the United States was leading the charge into the future. But beyond its symbolic importance, the 707 revolutionized air travel, it cut travel time in half, making transatlantic flights commonplace and affordable, thus changing our perception of distance and time. The 707 impact on the aviation industry was so profound that even today, over seven decades later, it continues to serve specific roles. While they may no longer be the backbone of commercial passenger services, the Boeing 707 are still used for freight transport, military operations, and even as private jets by certain individuals which we will cover later on. They continue to be a testament to the foresight and engineering prowess of their creators. The last known commercial passenger flights operated by the Boeing 707 were conducted by Saha Airlines in Iran, which continued to use the Boeing 707 for commercial passenger services until it was phased out in April 2013. This marks the end of the Boeing 707 era in commercial passenger service, several decades after its debut. On January 14, 2019, a 46-year-old Boeing 7073 J-9C, operated by the Iranian Air Force, crashed at Fath Air Base in Iran, claiming 15 of the 16 lives on board. The aircraft, en route from Bishkek to Payam International Airport, faced poor weather conditions. A likely navigational error led to the pilots mistaking Fath Air Base's runway for Payam's, contributing to the tragedy. The close proximity and similar alignment of the two runways may have compounded the confusion during the aircraft's final approach. 
The current operators of the Boeing 707, primarily for military and government roles, include the air forces of Chile, India, Iran, Israel, the United States, and Venezuela. The only commercial operator listed is Omega Aerial Refueling Services in the United States. The Boeing 707 was not just a plane, it was a vision of the future made real. It transformed the way we travel, the way we connect, and the way we perceive the world. And even though it's no longer the star of the show, it still has a role to play in the grand theater of aviation. Did you know that John Travolta operated his own Boeing 707? John Travolta, a well-known aviation enthusiast and pilot, has operated his own Boeing 707. This vintage aircraft, reflecting Travolta's passion for flying, has been part of his private fleet, showcasing his deep interest in aviation beyond his acting career. Travolta's 707, often spotlighted for its classic design, and Travolta's hands-on involvement in its operation, symbolizes the blend of celebrity and the world of aviation. So, the next time you look up at the sky and see a plane zooming overhead, take a moment to appreciate the pioneering spirit it represents. Because, who knows? Although rare, it might just be a Boeing 707. The 707, a symbol of the jet age, still graces our skies. Leaping to the late 1960s, we meet the iconic Boeing 747. This venerable bird first took to the skies in February of 1969, a time when the world was stepping onto the moon and striding into an age of technological marvels. The 747 was a marvel of its own, a symbol of progress and a testament to human ingenuity. The creation of the Boeing 747 was a Herculean task, one that was completed in less than two years. This was no small feat, considering that it was the largest passenger aircraft of its time, capable of carrying more than 350 passengers. It was a revolution in the aviation industry, a game-changer that redefined what was possible in air travel. But the Boeing 747 was more than just a marvel of engineering. It was a catalyst that made international travel more accessible. With its long-range capabilities and increased passenger capacity, the Boeing 747 opened up the skies to the masses. Today, more than 50 years after its maiden flight, the Boeing 747 is still a common sight in our skies. While it may no longer be the largest passenger plane, it remains one of the most recognizable, with its distinctive hump and four-engine design. Many airlines continue to operate the 747, testament to its enduring appeal and reliability. The Boeing 747 has also found new life in cargo transportation. Its spacious interior and large cargo doors make it a valuable asset in today's globalized world, where goods can be shipped from one side of the world to the other in a matter of hours. Over the decades, the Boeing 747 has seen various upgrades and enhancements, each one improving on the last and extending its lifespan. It's a plane that refuses to be grounded, a plane that continues to defy expectations and push boundaries. Lufthansa operates the largest fleet of around 27 passenger Boeing 747s, including the 408 series, reflecting its commitment to this iconic aircraft for its long-haul operations. This makes Lufthansa a key operator of the 747, underscoring the aircraft's enduring relevance in modern aviation despite the advent of newer models. The largest operator of Boeing 747 cargo planes is Atlas Air, with a total of 49 aircraft in their fleet, including various configurations of the 747 model. This highlights Atlas Air's significant presence in the cargo aviation market, utilizing the 747's capacity for heavy and voluminous freight the 747, often called the Queen of the Skies, still reigns supreme. Finally, we landed in the 1970s with the Airbus 300. This magnificent bird, the very first twin-engine wide body in the world, was the result of a European collaboration to rival the American giants Boeing and McDonnell Douglas. Originating from France and Germany, the A300 was a daring endeavor that introduced Airbus as a contender in the global aviation industry. The A300 was a trailblazer in its own right. It was the first aircraft to use composite materials, which significantly reduced the plane's overall weight and increased fuel efficiency. This was a game-changer in the world of aviation, setting a new standard for aircraft design and production. The Airbus 300 also boasted a spacious cabin, capable of accommodating up to 266 passengers in a typical two-class configuration. Its wide-body design was not just for passenger comfort, though, it also allowed for increased cargo capacity, making the A300 an attractive option for airlines and cargo operators alike. 
The A300's first flight was on the 28th of October 1972, and it entered service with Air France in May 1974. Despite its rocky start due to the oil crisis of the 70s, the Airbus 300 went on to win over airlines with its efficiency and reliability, eventually racking up over 800 orders. Today the Airbus 300 is still a common sight at airports around the world. Although its production ended in 2007, many A300s continue to serve as cargo planes, a testament to their durability and adaptability. Some are even used by military forces, such as the German Luftwaffe, for transport and refueling operations. The Airbus A300's legacy lives on in the Airbus family of aircraft, influencing the design of subsequent models like the Airbus 310 and the Airbus 330. It's a testament to how Airbus, with the A300, changed the aviation landscape, bridging continents and cultures, and truly making the world a smaller place. The A300, the plane that put Airbus on the map, is still flying high. FedEx Express operates its fleet of Airbus A300 aircraft for cargo services. FedEx is a major global courier delivery services company and uses these aircraft primarily for freight and parcel transportation. Iran is the primary country where Airbus A300s are still operated as passenger planes by for example Iran Air, Keshem Air and Mahan Air. Due to sanctions preventing the acquisition of newer aircraft, Iran has several active passenger-configured Airbus 300 jets. Taking a detour to the late 1940s, we discover the Antonov II, a Soviet marvel that stands as the largest single-engine biplane ever produced. This workhorse of the skies, with its distinctive double wings and a nine-cylinder radial engine, was initially designed for agricultural duties. But its robust design, versatility, and ability to operate from unprepared fields quickly made it a favorite for various roles, including cargo transportation, firefighting, and even passenger transport. The Antonov II made its first flight on the 31st of August 1947. Its design, characterized by a large, unpressurized cabin and a high wing configuration, allowed it to handle tough conditions and perform short takeoffs and landings a feature particularly useful in remote and difficult terrains. This ability to adapt, coupled with its simplicity and ease of maintenance, contributed to its popularity and longevity. Despite the advances in aviation technology, the Antonov II remains in service today, particularly in remote areas where its ruggedness and reliability are invaluable. It's a common sight in regions like Siberia and the Arctic, delivering supplies, ferrying passengers, or even acting as an air ambulance. It's also found a niche in the world of skydiving, thanks to its ability to climb to high altitudes at a steady pace. The Antonov on II, fondly referred to as Annie by many who fly her, is a testament to the versatility and resilience of aviation design. While it may not have the glamour or speed of modern jets, its contribution to aviation cannot be understated. It's a piece of history that continues to serve as a lifeline in many parts of the world, reminding us that in the realm of aviation, there's a place for all types of aircraft, each with its unique story and legacy. The Antonov II, a symbol of endurance and adaptability, continues to write its story in the skies, seven decades and counting. From the Douglas DC-3 to the Antonov II, these are the oldest passenger planes still in flight today. It's a testament to the ingenuity and durability of these designs that they're still gracing our skies, decades after their maiden voyages. Let's take a moment to appreciate these grand dames of aviation. The Douglas DC-3, a legend in its own right, first took to the skies in the 30s, and it's still flying, a symbol of resilience and reliability. The Boeing 707, introduced in the 50s, revolutionized air travel and brought the jet age to the masses. It's still in service, a testament to its robust design and timeless appeal. The Boeing 747, affectionately known as the Jumbo Jet or Queen of the Skies, has been a familiar sight at airports around the world for over half a century. Its distinctive hump and four-engine setup make it one of the most recognizable aircraft in the world. The Airbus A300, Europe's answer to the American dominance in the aviation industry, marked a new era in wide-body twin-engine aircraft design. And last but not least the Antonov II, a Soviet marvel that stands as the largest single-engine biplane ever produced. These aircraft are more than just machines, they're living pieces of our shared history embodying the spirit of exploration and human ingenuity. They remind us of how far we've come and how the desire to reach new heights is a fundamental part of who we are. So next time you're flying take a moment to appreciate the history soaring above you, 
Who knows, you might be flying in a piece of history yourself. Have you ever had the opportunity to fly on one of those extraordinary birds? If so, we would love to hear about your experience. Please share your story with us in the comments. Before we touch down, we have a small request for you. If you've enjoyed this flight through the Chronicles of Aviation History, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content. Don't forget to like and hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop when we post new videos. We invite you to join us as we continue to unlock the skies exploring the past, present, and future of aviation. Your adventure into the limitless world of aviation begins here.